Hi all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna finish off Operation Bacteria Boost. All right, so those who uh, watch my channel will know that exactly three weeks ago, I started a little uh, project on my uh, large frag tank to get some bacteria in there because um, I just added a couple of uh, rabbit fish to the tank and I uh, didn't really have any uh, substrate or any bacteria in there. And uh, as a result, the algae just blew up. Um, so we gave the tank a bit of a clean up. Uh, I did a big water change. I added some, uh, some uh, mantis bio blocks. I started dosing the tank with the bacteria. And uh, the water change I did was with the Act Aquaforest probiotic uh, salt. And uh, I must admit, uh, things are looking pretty good, but uh, the job is only half done. So let's go check out the tank and see where it's at right now. All right, so as we come into my fish room, we can have a look at the tank as it sits right now. now I have not even cleaned the glass uh, in this three weeks. And as you can see, I didn't even get around to cleaning the skimmer, but uh, it's kicking along pretty well. I haven't even uh, taken out that uh, original frag rack because it's um, effectively my uh, skimmer <laughs> mount at the moment. So it's still got a little bit of algae on there, but even that algae has actually started to recede a little bit. The uh, Mantis Bioblocks are still sitting there doing their thing. They, uh, they're not showing any signs of getting dirty or anything like that. I've got a little bit of build up on the base, a little bit of algae there, um, a few bits that I haven't cleaned just yet. There's some nori here that my fish aren't eating because um, they're scared of the camera. You can see uh, the gold spot hiding over there. And um, all in all, it's gone along pretty well, but uh, the job's not finished yet. I've got to uh, give the glass a clean, maybe uh, clean the base of the tank a little bit more because I missed a few spots over there. Um, I need to get this rack out and put uh, the other rack in because uh, all the other three racks in, because they're nice and clean now, and um, yeah, do one final water change and we should be good to go. So uh, let's stop talking about it and get stuck into it. All right, so you can see I've got a, a decent amount of water out there, probably a, um, it's gonna be about a 15 to 20% water change, probably closer to 20% water change, and I've also stirred everything up, given the um, glass a good clean. And uh, yeah, I've got uh, the frag racks out. Still got a little bit of detritus and stuff in there I need to clean up. But uh, the one frag rack that's in is nice and clean and uh, I'll give that skimmer a clean and we'll get it all back in, put some fresh water in and uh, call it a day. All right, so we go in my fish room now. You'll see that the uh, Skim is clean and back in action. Obviously we've got the blue LEDs on now, so things are uh, pretty uh, Smurf-like, but uh, the tank's all been cleaned up. The racks are all nice and clean now. Uh, it's had its final change with the Aquaforest Probiotic Reef Salt. I'll continue to dose the uh, Reef Revolution uh, Probiotic just to keep things ticking along. And of course the uh, Mantis plates on the uh, Aquabella holder back there are gonna keep doing their thing, just giving that uh, bacteria somewhere to host. So, all right guys, so that pretty well wraps up the uh, Operation Bacteria Boost uh, in my frag tank and I've got uh, three products I need to review and as promised to keep my uh, reviews as unbiased as possible, I'm gonna give three pros and three cons to each product. Um, it will challenge me a little bit and I haven't uh, prepared this in advance, so um, we'll just see how we go. First up, we've got the uh, Reef Revolution Pro Bio Blast. Now, you know me, I like to start with the negatives so we finish on a high. So I'll, I'll start with three negatives. The first one is this product needs to be uh, refrigerated after opening. It's a bacteria, that's the way these things tend to go, but uh, it can be a pain. Second of all, uh, ideally you wanna dose this every day. So not only do you need to keep it in the fridge, but you also need to manually dose it because, well, I guess unless you've got a refrigerated doser, but um, I've been manually dosing it, which is no big deal. I manually dose my uh, trace elements anyway, but uh, it's one thing you need to um, consider. And I guess the... Uh, I don't know. I'll try to think of one more uh, thing I don't like. I dropped one of these bottles once um, and it fell on the floor and smashed and uh, the, the smell from it was really funky. All right, should that happen to everyone? Probably not, but uh, I promised I'd come up with three cons. Now, three pros. First of all, price. The recommended retail on the uh, large bottle, this is a 100 mil bottle of the uh, probiotic, is $55 Australian. It's very affordable, um, particularly for the size of the product. It only comes in the 100 mil, which... I guess could also be a con if you've got a small tank because that's gonna last you forever, but I don't know, I can't see how that's a con. 
Um, the next uh, positive is this is an Australian product. Um, this is uh, made in Australia, it's made out of New South Wales, um, and it's just always good to support Australia. And uh, I guess the third uh, pro would be it's worked. Um, whilst I haven't uh, put it under a microscope and done some sort of scientific testing on the amount of bacteria in my tank, the fact that that tank on uh, just the daily dosing of this with the other products meant that after three weeks it was not engulfed in algae was a huge step forward because uh, previously to that, unless I turned the lighting off in that tank, the, um, the algae would absolutely blow up in three days. So third and final uh, pro for the Reef Revolution Pro Bio Blast is it works. All right, now, next product, which I don't have because they're in my tank, but I'll put a picture up here, is the uh, Mantis Bio Plates and uh, Holder. So as promised, we're gonna do three cons on three pros. The first con, I guess, is, um, <laughs> got me on the spot here. Uh, it takes up a bit of space. Um, unlike a, a liquid, I guess, um, you, you have to find somewhere to put them. They're quite compact and the amount of surface area they've got is incredible, but you still have to put them somewhere. Um, consider that a con if you wish. Let's, uh, let's roll with that. Con number two. It's difficult to tell if they're actually doing anything. Because they're an uh, innate object, they just sit in your sump or in your tank, you can't actually tell if they're doing anything. Um, which, I don't know, I guess that can be a, a pro as well as a con, but it's not like it's something electric that you turn the power on and you see it working. It just sits there and you're just putting a lot of faith in the fact that it is working. But it is a scientific fact that surface area is what's required for bacteria. Those plates have a lot of surface area. So you can take an educated guess that they're working, but the fact that there's nothing moving, nothing changing color, nothing consuming power, just makes you think, is it doing something or not? Okay, con number three, and I'm really starting to scratch the barrel here now. Um, whew, no, to be honest, I cannot think of a con number three. The plates are uh, really slick. The holders come in a range of colors and different shapes and configurations. The plates are small. I'm sorry guys, I can't come up with three cons for the uh, Mantis Bio plates. Let's move on to the pros. All right, and I leaked one of the pros there. Pro number one, the holders, they keep these plates up off the base of your sump, keep them free from detritus, allows water to flow all the way around them. The holders are fantastic. The fact that they come in different colors, different configurations, so you can have the plates side by side or in front of each other um, is a huge pro in my opinion. Pro number two, it just works. <laughs> Whilst I said it was also a con that you can't see doing anything, they have a huge amount of surface area and um, the bacteria that we've been dosing from the salt and from the uh, probioblast has got somewhere to it attach. If I just had my bare glass tank with no rock, no sand, no other media in there, that bacteria would free flow and then it eventually it'd leave out. It's got to colonize somewhere and uh, those plates give a uh, fantastic place to do it. Pro number three with the Mantis Bio plates, is the construction of them. They're quite sturdy, they do not feel soft in hand, they're not gonna break down, they're not gonna leach materials into your water. They're a quality product, so that's con pro number three. All right, and uh, last but not least is the Aquaforest Probiotic Salt. Um, as promised, I'm gonna start with uh, three cons and then we'll get onto the uh, three pros. First con is it's a little bit expensive. It costs a bit more than their uh, sea salt and reef salt. Not a lot more, but you do pay for it and I've got to come up with some cons. So uh, you do pay a premium for it. My second con with the probiotic salt is that you shouldn't do more than a, say a 15 to 20% water change with it because the probiotics in there can, I guess, strip the parameters from your uh, water too quickly. So you don't want to be going and doing a 50% or greater water change with this salt. You're running a little bit of a risk there. And uh, the third and final con with the uh, probiotic reef salt is again, it's difficult to see bacteria in action. You're uh, assuming that the uh, extra money that you've spent on this salt is working. I ran my own test on my frag tank and the fact that it went uh, three weeks without uh, blowing up an algae was a fantastic sign to me, but you're taking a little bit of a leap of faith. All right, we're going to the pros of the aquaforest salt. First of all, uh, I love that all of the Aquaforest Salt, and I've done another video on this, has the uh, ICP uh, batch test. So when they do a batch of this salt, they grab three samples of it, they do ICP test on their own ICP machine, and it gives you a number that you can uh, check that online. The fact that these guys do that, but not only do they do that, they put that on the front of the tub so that you can check those on your phone while you're at the store and you can find a salt that's gonna match your conditions the most is amazing. It's not hidden away in a pamphlet inside the box. It's right on the front, the number's there. You can look it up straight away. That's a fantastic pro. Okay, my second pro for the salt 
is that uh, it's not something that you have to do every day. I mixed up a batch of this water twice, didn't take me long. By the time I mixed it up, it mixed very easily. I gave it half an hour to mix up, let everything settle, get up to temp, do a water change, and then that's just flooded the tank with a heap of positive probiotics. So it's not something you have to dose every day. There's no little extra drops or anything like that. It's a uh, basically a set and forget system. So uh, that's absolutely a pro for the uh, Aquaforest probiotic salt. And uh, third but not, uh, last but not least, uh, the third pro for the Aquaforest probiotic salt, and uh, much like my other two products, is it works. Can I say that it was just the salt or it was a combination of all three? It was these two but not that one? No, I can't. But uh, I can say that I went out on this tank to get some bacteria in there because I knew it was fairly sterile and uh, it was having trouble converting uh, some organics, uh, breaking them down and getting them out of the system. So I went all out with three products to get some bacteria in there. And all I can say is that in my humble opinion, feel free to uh, disagree with me if you like, in my humble opinion, they absolutely worked. The tank is much more stable now. I'm not getting algae outbreaks. In fact, the little bit of algae that was on the uh, rack that I didn't take out to clean actually started to break down and disappear. So not only am I not growing algae, I'm actually reducing algae, which is huge, huge for me because I'm a lazy reefer. I've got six reef tanks. I don't have time to be cleaning that one every week. And before I put this bacteria in there, that's what I was doing. And I knew coming up with reef stock and a couple of other things are going on, I just was not gonna be able to keep cleaning that tank every week. And uh, I foolishly thought by adding a couple of rabbit fish that might eat the algae, Boy, was I wrong. They just made the algae explode because of the extra uh, bio load in the water. So I guess that's where we uh, finish the review up, guys. I've uh, reviewed three products there. I've given you a sample of how I've used them in my tank and how they've worked. As always, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to pop them in the section down below. If you've enjoyed this video and the previous one, be sure to give it a uh, thumbs up. And uh, as always, I really appreciate it if you're not already by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so you don't miss out on any videos I release in future. Till next time, guys. Thanks, catch you later.